while his teammates celebrated wildly in the dressing room having set up an FA Cup glamour tie with Manchester City. Newport County goalkeeper Joe Day made a swift exit to see his pregnant wife. The 28-year-old had his phone turned off during the 2-0 win over Middlesbrough on Tuesday night and had no idea his wife had gone into labor during the 90 minutes. But as soon as the final whistle went Day asked boss Michael Flynn if he could dash off in a bid to make the birth of his children at a nearby hospital. Newport County goalkeeper Joe Day cut short FA Cup celebrations to see his pregnant wife. As soon as the full-time whistle went he ran to boss Michael Flynn and asked if he could leave. His teammates celebrated in the dressing room after setting up a fifth-round tie with Man City. The goalkeeper ran over to Flynn with the rain still coming down, hugged his boss and was then ushered down the tunnel in a bid to make it to the hospital. Speaking to BT Sport after the win, Flynn, when asked if Day was kept up to date, said, look, the professional that he is, he turned his phone off. I didn't hide it, believe it or not. I didn't hide it, he turned his phone off. As soon as the game was over and we won he said Gaffer thank you so much, can I go please? Gay punches the air hearing the full-time whistle as Newport celebrated a famous FA Cup win. I said of course you can, do you need a lift? And that was it. Newport's players and supporters will be celebrating long into the night after adding championship side Middlesbrough to their list of FA Cup giant killings. The League 2 side dominated the visitors from start to finish on a difficult playing surface to set up a home tie against Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. Robbie Wilmot put Newport added two minutes into the second half before Padre Gamon, a scorer against Leicester City in round three, doubling the advantage to wrap up at another famous win at Rodney Parade. Robbie Wilmot, right, and Padre Gamon, left, got the goals in difficult ways.